Hi, everyone. The new racetrack is out. My sister is in the background, so if you hear weird noises, that is why. It says, help the Baroness build the racetrack of her dreams. The tack is refitted for three more breeds, which is super exciting. I hope that... You just threw my computer! Dude, what are you doing? No, I, it wasn't even a throw, it was just like... A toss? Okay, so last night, Lydia let Snowball dump iced tea all over my laptop, and I thought it was dead. Bye. I put on a construction outfit because I was really excited about the update. I put my horse in a beautiful, you know, Baroness outfit because I feel like it would be, you know, fitting for the occasion. And then I started buying tack and stuff. It's me, Linda. You have to come here. I need you for moral support. I'll explain more in person. Last night, I was getting one last look at the old Baroness because, you know, she looks like this lady in Target. Okay, this is so off topic, but my sister and I, we were shopping at Target. We were getting like sweatshirts in the men's section because they have nice sweatshirts. She came up and she was right next to me and my sister and she was like, Wow, I've never seen so many girls in the men's section before. And I was like, so weird. Not necessary, but whatever. She's really missing out. This gives me church lady vibes. I don't even remember why. Linda got locked into the silver lake. I don't care what happened in the toilet. She broke the toilet. I don't even remember why. Linda got locked in the castle. That was just way too long ago. I don't understand. I don't remember. Godfrey won't give us a ride because he's a- I won't even say it because I'll have to bleep it out. Well, here we are and there's the Baroness, but where are all the people? Greetings, people of Jorvik City. I am bar Why can't I even see her? <laughs> and today I bring you a proposal. That is why I'm standing here today speaking to each and every one of you. She's using so many words that I don't know. Derelict means in a very poor condition as a result of disuse and neglect. They say this game is for 8 to 17 year olds, but yet they have some interesting content in the, <laughs> in the quest lines. There have been cuss words in the quest lines before. What else? Oh, romance, but whatever. You know, I think they took those parts out. I'm pretty sure. But anybody who did the original quest, um, crickets. Yeah, see, the people only care about something else random over here. I don't even know what they're protesting about. Who even knows at this point? And then there's this dog with a six head who's actually really cute. Godfrey totally birthed that dog. Not one passerby stopped to listen. Yeah, you think? Just like Linda said, there's a million signs out here that say no horses. So, well, actually, just kidding. There are people who don't care about horses who do go to the Kentucky Derby just to go. So, I don't know. You could pay the GED. You could pay, you could even pay the Dark Core to do it at this point. You could pay our character. Our character would do the best job out of anybody. I'm not asking Idris for help. That's literally the last thing that I would do. He needs to be kicked off the island. Maybe that's what they're protesting about. Boycott Idris. Let's ask GED. You heard the Baroness. She wants us to be a community. These people are so annoying. We don't want GED's grubby hands on it. Why would it matter who builds it? Like, pay somebody to do it. I'm being coerced into picking a quote-unquote correct answer. Yes, that's it. Reach- Oh my god, I don't want to reach out to the people around Jorvik. I just want to use the Baroness's money. Baroness's racetrack, I'm so bogged down with horseshoe orders that I can't be a horse stride away from my hammer and anvil. Exactly. They are busy with their own jobs. He is the only shoer that I know in this game. I can't help with the racetrack, sorry. I promised Hervin, Hervin, her man, over in Jorvik's stables that I'd help him with preparing for an upcoming festival and now I'm drowning in papers. Literally, I'm making paper chains to decorate the stables. You guys are no fun. Whatever it is you need help with, we can't. So yeah, what are you still doing here? Looks like you're down on your luck. Everyone's busy here these days. These people don't even look busy. They're just standing here. Joshy. Howdy do, you've caught me just in time. I was about to head back to the ranch and help Mr. Peterson wrangle the donkeys. He's immediately going to be there. I love you, Josh. Thank you so much. If you're hoping to speak to the veterinarian, you're- Okay, I don't care. I don't know. I don't even know what he said, but it didn't sound like he was gonna help, so I don't even want to talk to him. <gasps> the gardeners! They're here. Look at this dude. Agnetha, it's Violet. They helped us create our beautiful gardens. Don't you remember? It's great to see you again. It was so much grinding to build these people's gardens. So 
if they would help do this racetrack. Yes, oh my gosh, he's like, I'm so excited I might faint. I love these people, oh my goodness. And they even named their race after me. They named it the Flower Garden Race. She's like, you must have worked a miracle. Yeah, really. Let's go through the GED oil fields. They are going to contaminate the whole racetrack, which is probably why they said, oh yeah, no on GED. Hi everyone. Wow, this is quite the crowd. First off, thank you all for coming. As we all know, the Baroness's racetrack has been left in this state for quite some time. Of course, you can ride around it now, but how awesome would it be if we all banded together and made it even more awesome? Okay, we got everybody. I'm so happy. I'm most excited about the gardeners because I think these people, they are going to do a great job. These are like my cousins right here. Well, that went better than I ever expected. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Feel free- What? Dude, why? We just got started, girl. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get a different horse, actually, and then I'm gonna spend the night. I hate spending the night, but I'm just gonna do it because tomorrow I'm gonna be so busy packing for the trip that I'm going on. I'm gonna use Gibby Gibson. I have not done this for so long. <laughs> it's a new beautiful day. Yes, it is. New trash to pick up. It looks beautiful. We didn't even have to do anything. Like, they did basically all the work and we just showed up and it's beautiful. Wow, good deal, guys. <gasps> and then they made... Okay, I thought this was a bridge for like trail that you walk your horse across. It's actually the podium. Oh my gosh, this gives me memories from Minecraft making these for competitions. I could totally see, even though yes, this is a racetrack. Why do I always turn it into something that it's not? I'm so sorry. Ignore me if you don't want to hear this, but you could totally have like little, you know, flat classes and stuff in here and shows. This is why they have this gate open so you can go in here and do stuff. And you know, maybe they would want to put some jumping courses in here like if you just wanted to and if you didn't want to have it, you wouldn't have to. They made the Baroness's racetrack, but it really is the most perfect showgrounds that they've ever made like in the history of ever. The racetrack has really come together. Look at the picket fence lining the racetrack. Isn't it beautiful? Bjorn and Agnetha did such a great job with the landscaping. The grandstand is completed thanks to the efforts of the Jorvik Rangers. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Everybody just ignored him and his oil field next door that is probably gonna run off into this racetrack anyway and ruin it. Confront Mr. Kemble. What the frick? Why does he look so square? Ugh, what a dung beetle. That's a weird insult, but okay. Are you up for a little mission to Cape West Fishing Village? Sure. Oh my god, that beautiful Welsh pony in the gallop. Like, she just galloped by and I'm like, oh my god. Such good movers. All I want to do is, like, check out what's going on over here first before actually doing some real work. Oh my gosh, so they are wanting to do other kinds of shows here. Yes, I get that it's a racetrack, but that's why they have an opening to go to the inside so they can have this nice flat grass arena and they can start putting jumping courses in there. And then you can take them down if you don't even want to see it and you just want to see a racetrack. See, they're talking about creating jumps. Okay, you can awkwardly look inside the house and it's blank, but whatever. This is the most beautiful fountain. Oh my goodness. Is this the tower where you watch the- Oh my god, that was so offensive. Gibby Gibson is gonna cry now. I don't know what this is. It looks like a viewing building or something. <gasps> oh my gosh! You can view the whole place! I think the gift is going to be jumps for the Baroness. I'm so excited. Wow, this is totally the Kentucky Horse Park. Oh my god. Can I make this my home stable? Like, they're gonna be setting up jumps. And then this is, can be like, I don't know, the outhouse. See, this is the same kind of package as the other one, so they're probably jumps. The captain's like, No, I called back up if I were you. And then Linda conveniently calls and says, Backup's on the way and there's this creepy van. Hi, Kima. What the f- <laughs> I can't. I literally can't. Instead of getting a trailer to pick this up, Kima just threw this on top of her weird van. Good thing you called me. This thing is huge. Not that I doubt Pillboy's ability to carry anything, of course, but some things are a better job for four wheels and reinforced steel. Like, is this some kind of special van or something? You know, if a van doesn't have windows in the back, you know something's up. 
I can take it from here, Violet. You should head back to the racetrack. Things are really ramping up there. Please let me come back and there be jumps. Oh wait, I forgot I was gonna put bows on my horse. I gotta get my priorities straight. Okay, what are some bows that would match this outfit? They're polka dot, but you know, it's okay. You know, Gibby likes polka dots. I swear if we go back and there's some fat accident that happens with that freaking van, I will be so upset. <laughs> Because everything's been going, like, suspiciously smooth so far ever since the Dorvik people got involved. Like, overnight, houses being built. No, I was expecting to come over here and just oil be spread all over the field. Like, what if that van accidentally ran over all the oil pipes and then it just leaked everywhere? Oh, shoot. It's a statue. Josh is bringing in some pony horses and I have to figure out where to put them. Oh my gosh, I want a pony horses. Help Rania inspect the buildings. This is gonna sound really offensive, but is Rania asking for help inspecting the buildings because she can't see the buildings herself? Like, I 100% understand, but why would they put that in the quest? Oh. Uh, Gibby? I won't disturb Meteor because he's eating, even though I just opened his door. But these are the cutest stalls. Oh my goodness. There you are. We need your help desperately. Look at this place. What? We have to grab packages? If they're not jumps, I do not want to grab the packages. You know, no offense, but a lot of offense, actually. Oh, here's the special van that's parked here. It doesn't even have a license plate. <laughs> yeah, these packages do not look like jumps, so, you know, I'm not a fan. Is Gibby gonna fit through here? Okay, that would be a no. In Jorvik, it's the only place where they say, oh yeah, the packages were scattered everywhere and then you go through a whole town and run around the houses. Like, imagine if that happened in a neighborhood in real life, you'd get the cops called on you like 20 times. But in this game, it's completely normal. Oh, okay, we're putting markers of stuff that needs to be moved. Okay, I 100% understand now. I was like, why are we putting ugly signs? It's just because I don't read the quest that, you know. Basically, we have to mark stuff that doesn't look like it belongs there because apparently some people cannot figure that out for themselves. I have no idea. The stores are open! Let's gather everyone around and tell them the great news. This was a true team effort. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Think of the possibilities. Championships, jumping tracks, a grass paddock for show jumping. We could even host trail rides that extend up into the mountain. These are all such great ideas. Trails into the mountain. And then you can go look at the alien saucer thing. And then they can be like, oh my gosh, this is an artifact. Nobody knows what it is. And then the aliens come down. Championships, jumping tracks. The riding hall is going to get a run for its money. A bronze statue that must have costed a fortune. Who did it come from? Whoever donated the statue must know her very well. Maybe it's Mr. Sands. I don't know. The Baroness herself would like to say a few words to us all. Where did everybody go? Everybody left. Everybody went over there. I was like, oh, the Baroness wanted to do a speech and everybody just scattered. Hello, everyone. Yes, it's final. After all this time, the racetrack has been completed. What a sight to behold. Now, all that's left to do is for somebody to volunteer as the first rider to take a lap around the track. Gibby Gibson volunteers. You and Pelvoy are the perfect match to break in the racetrack. Now we're actually going the right way on the track. Gibby Gibson is really enjoying himself. He is a really special horse. Now I'm going to think he's even more special because... He is the first thoroughbred of mine who went on the track. Oh, there's another lap. Oh, shoot. My bad. But Gibby knows what he's doing. I clearly had no idea, but Gibby kept going, so it's okay. Yes, Gibby. Get it, boy. My, oh my. You were quite the sight racing around. I know. Gibby, he's a sight to see. Gibby, you got a ribbon. A participation ribbon. Oh, for the love of all things holy. Who does this guy think he is? The owner of this land, that's who. In fact, I have proof that GED has rights to this land. That statue sitting in the center was crafted by my workers. It's all the evidence I need to seize this land from your decrepit, your decrepit hands. That's enough, Simon. Dude, his name is Simon. Apologies, everyone. There was some confusion surrounding which GED representative attend this gathering to extend our most heartfelt congratulations for this wonderful community effort. Violet, why is she talking like that? Like she can barely get out the words and that fake smile looks painful. 
As an olive branch, GED has collaborated with Mr. J. Sandman to donate a statue. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I was joking that Mr. Sands donated that statue, and it's true. Oh my god! Mr. J. Sandman to donate a statue modeled after the Baroness's prized racehorse back in her competition days. I won't halt the celebrations any longer. Have a... time. Sandman? Oh, I think I have to lay down. Okay. Oh, I thought that bulldozer was gonna come in and start, like, bulldozing the whole place over, just out of nowhere. Or Garnuck's hand, like, hand. I mean, tentacle could just reach out of the ground and ruin the whole place, but you know who she looks like? She looks like the Queen of England, the way she stands. I am very impressed by this update. At first, I was very suspicious. I wish this could be a home stable. Like, I totally wish you could just, like, put a home stable, like, in the back hill or something. I mean, technically, that's what living at the manor is for, because you can just, I guess, run over. People are actually in the racing gear. That is awesome. There are many opportunities for this place, so I'm very proud of Star Stable for this update. Thanks for watching. Bye!